hello dear students welcome back to my channel this is part 3 of target 70 plus uh, video series in this uh, video we are discussing 30 questions all the 30 questions are from previous year question paper dear students it's important that uh, most of the concepts are covered in these 30 questions in the annual examination they can change the question they can ask the question in many number of ways but the concept will be same dear students you should understand that the concept remains same but the questions can change right so it is important that you attempt all the 38 questions in the exam examination and also thoroughly you read the textbook and also all these questions it should be a revision for you what are the video i'm posting it should be a revision for you what are the concept related to it uh, read from the textbook and also this pdf i'll be sharing in my telegram group do join the telegram group and also if you have not subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel uh, part one and part two of this uh, video series will be uh, posted in my description do check it out now uh, without uh, wasting much time we'll move to what the first question i have not given the option here because it takes more uh, space the type of reproduction in spirogyra is the type of reproduction in spirogyra is what it is fragmentation it is fragmentation now see now you you have uh, learnt about fragmentation now what you should do take the textbook and little bit study about fragmentation what is fragmentation example for fragmentation that means who you are covering the concept of fragmentation from the unit reproduction right so it is very important that you should relate it to those concepts you should study from the textbook also the site of uh, complete digestion of carbohydrate proteins and fats is what small intestine the device used to produce electricity is what electric generator in Fleming's left hand so right hand rule in Fleming's right hand rule the middle finger indicates the direction of induced current you should important know that uh, the in Fleming's right hand rule the middle finger indicates the direction of induced electric current to get a diminished and really real image of an object from the convex lens the object should be placed beyond 2f1 the object should be placed to beyond 2f1 si unit of power of lens is diopter the gas liberated at the anode in the electrolysis of water is hydrogen related concept you should study from the textbook if you are thorough with the textbook it's dear students it's about revision 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 read once understand try to read it again try to write it the points whatever you have studied until you thorough with the concept in the examination they can ask many any questions but the concept will be what it will be same right and also uh, try to attend the morning session live sessions it will be really helpful atmospheric layer that observes uv radiations uh, coming from the sunlight is made up of oxygen that is o3 three molecules of oxygen that is ozone the device that works on the principle of electromagnetic induction is electric generator works on the principle of electromagnetic the metal used in the filament of electric bulb is tungsten now the atomic numbers of uh, elements a b c d are three nine four four and eight three nine four and eight elements having metallic nature among this the least the atomic number that means uh, atomic numbers are three nine four and eight right three four eight nine these are the atomic numbers of element a b c element a is what element a is 3 element b is 9 and element c is 4 element d is what 8 now 
you can see that 3 and 4 has the least that means less atomic number right? that means the metallic nature decreases across the period right across the period the metallic nature decreases means the element a and c will have what the metallic nature what are amphoteric oxide metal metallic oxides that show both acidic behavior as well as uh, basic behavior are called as amphoteric oxide example zinc oxide aluminum oxide this is the repeated question can detergent be used to test hardness of water no detergent cannot be used to test the hardness of water because it forms foam or lather with both hard water and soft water manufacture of uh, manufacturers of chips flush the packets of chips with nitrogen gas why to prevent the chips from getting oxidized or to prevent rancidity name the poisonous gas produced due to incomplete combustion of fossil fuels it is carbon monoxide CO. a student sitting in the last bench has difficulty in reading the blackboard while writing uh, which is the defect of vision the student has the student is suffering from myopia this defect can be corrected by using concave lens Name the device used to measure potential difference. It is voltmeter. To measure current, it is ammeter. To uh, to detect the presence of current, it is galvanometer. What is the meaning of the statement? Potential difference between two points is one volt. If one joule of work is done to move a charge of one coulomb, that is, one volt equals one joule by one coulomb. That is, one joule of work done in moving one coulomb of charge from one point to another point in a current carrying conductor what is the resistance of a conductor the property of the conductor to restrain or retard or oppose the motion of electric charges flowing through the flowing through it is called as what resistance of a conductor magnetic fi magnetic field lines do not intersect each other because the point at the point of intersection of the compass needles would point towards two direction which is not part can a single direction can can a single direction can point towards two directions no not at all possible hence the magnetic field lines do not intersect at do not intersect each other now to mark suggest any two measures to avoid overloading in domestic circuit how can you avoid the overloading live and neutral wires should not come in direct contact there should not be any short circuit in the short circuit in the circuit uh, too many appliances should not be connected in a single socket should always use quality wires and quality good quality electrical appliances explain how is nuclear energy generated in power reactors how is electricity produced from nuclear energy how electricity is uh, produced from nuclear energy you know we know that nuclear energy is generated from what it is from nuclear fission right nuclear fission nuclear fission is carried out in a nuclear power reactors the nucleus of heavy atoms nucleus of heavy atoms such as uranium uranium uh, plutonium and thorium when bombarded with low energy neutrons split into lighter nucleons because of this a tremendous amount of energy is released the energy release is produced uh, is used to produce steam further to generate electricity so the concept is simple nuclear fission heavy nucleus is split into two or more nucleotide uh, which is uh, because of bombarding with the neutron because when when an uh, heavy nucleus splits into two or more nuclei it releases energy this energy heat energy is used to produce steam right this uh, steam is used to generate what electricity mention the hazards of nuclear power reactor improper and un unscientific storage and disposal of spent or used fuels accidental leakage of nuclear radiations high cost of uh, installation of nuclear power reactor limited availability of uh, uranium high risk of environmental contamination dear student do watch the complete video many of the questions are very important explain why 
we are uh, looking for alternate uh, source of energy because the conventional source of energy like fossil fuels are in danger of getting exhausted conventional source of energy are not sufficient to run the machines or do to do more and more tasks unlimited use of conventional uh, energy has led to the problem of energy crisis dear students you can make the sentence as simple as possible see uh, you can get the first point the conventional source of energy are in are exhausting in a faster rate conventional source of energy are not sufficient to run the machine uh, and also use of conventional source of energy what leads to energy crisis uncontrolled use of conventional source of energy has created many problems such as environmental pollution mention the advantages and disadvantages associated with solar cell advantages associated with solar cell they have no moving parts they require little maintenance they require little maintenance they work quite satisfactorily without the use of any focusing device they can be set up in remote and inaccessible hamlets or very sparsely inhabited areas this can be established in remote areas also disadvantage associated with solar cell availability of special grade silicon for making solar cells is limited the process of manufacture of solar cells is expensive silver used for interconnection of the cells in the panel is very costly their efficiency is low what is electric power right three formulas used to find it the rate at which ener electrical energy the rate at which electric energy is dissipated or consumed in an electric circuit the rate at means how much energy is used or consumed in an electric circuit is called as what electric power you can express it in three forms that is p equals vi or p equals i square r or p equals v square so you should know all these uh, formulas because it can be used to find out the used in uh, problems what are structural isomers are the two structures of butane molecule carbon compound with identical molecular formula but different structures are called as structural isomers what are structural isomers same molecular formula but different structures see c4 h10 that is butane this can be expressed in straight chain and branch chain this is called as structural isomers how would you distinguish experimentally between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid carboxylic acid reacts with carbonate and hydrogen carbonate whereas alcohol does not react with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates carboxylic acid reacts with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates to give rise salt carbon dioxide and water whereas alcohol does not react with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates no reaction alcohol does not react whereas carboxylic acid reacts with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates now the next question write the uses of uh, write the molecular formula and two uses of each of the following com bleaching powder and pop uh, the molecular formula of uh, bleaching powder is caocl2 uses for bleaching cotton and linen in the textile industries for bleaching wood pulp in the paper uh, factories for bleaching wash clothes in the laundry used as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries to make drinking water free from germs pop plaster of paris is caso4 dot half h2o is it possible to have uh, half molecular water no two molecules of uh, calcium sulfate is shared by one molecule of water right Uh, this can be asked in give reason also do remember uh, uses uh, of pop for making toys for making materials for decoration for making surfaces smooth next question <coughs> it's an additional question here explain two methods to estimate the age of fossils relative method and detecting uh, the ratios of different different isotopes of the same element in the fossil material now a tenth and uh, application question from the unit life process eating chapati by chewing it very slowly tastes sweeter why while chewing chapati saliva is secreted right 
this saliva contains saliva amylase and chapati contains what starch this saliva amylase breaks this starch into simple sugar that's why it tastes sweeter 11th question a person face has become pale and his breathing rate has increased due to fear analyze the process which enables the person to deal with this situation in case of any emergency which hormone is released adrenaline hormone is released right by adrenal gland right in case of emergency in case of fear in case of anxiety which hormone is released adrenaline that's why it is called as emergency hormone which is directly secreted into blood now blood to the skin is reduced due to due to the contraction of muscles around the small arteries now the breathing rate increases because of the contractions of the diaphragm and rib muscles the heart beats faster resulting in the supply of more oxygen to the muscles how are how are the functions of arteries veins capillaries are interrelated in the circulation of blood functions of arteries veins and capillaries arteries carry blood away from the heart to the various organ arteries carry what away from the blood away from the heart to the various organs of the body veins uh, away from the organ to the heart on reaching an organ or the tissue the artery divides in smaller and smaller vessel to bring the blood in contact with all the individual cells this artery is when it comes in contact with the individual cells it divides into smaller smaller and smaller things vessels exchange of materials between the blood and the surrounding takes place across a thin wall of smallest vessels the capillaries right the capillaries then join to form veins veins can convey the blood away from the organ or tissue veins collect the blood from different organs and bring it back to the heart this is how the arteries veins and capillaries uh, function in circulation of the blood how does transportation of water takes place over the heights in a plant at the root cells are in contact with the soil actively take up ions the cells which are present in the root take up the ions this creates a difference in the concentration of these ions between the root and the soil water moves into the root from the soil to eliminate this difference because of the difference uh, there is a the water moves from soil to the root there is a steady movement of water into the root xylem creating a column of water which steadily pushed upwards the evaporation of water molecules from the stomata of leaves due to the transpiration creates a suction which pulls the water from the xylem because of the transpiration in the leaves what happens what the water is pulled upwards that is of because of the pressure dip give reason food chain generally consists of only three or four step why very little energy is available for the next level of consumers or the loss of energy at each step is so great that they have little usable energy after four tropic level decomposers play an important role in ecosystem because decomposers break down the dead remains waste products of organism decompose break the complex organic substance into simple organic substance these substances are used up by the plants or decomposers helps helps in natural replenishment replenishment of the soil decomposers they break complex substance into simple inorganic substance how they decompose the dead remains of waste products of organism protecting ozone is very much necessary because ozone is a layer which protects us from uv radiation from the sun this radiation is highly damaging to organism how is the process of budding in hydra is different from briophyllum in hydra bud develops as an outgrowth due to repeated cell division because of repeated de- cell division a bud is developed at one specific that these buds develop into tiny individual when they fully mature they detach from the parent body and become a newly individual do students it is important keep the textbook with you and try to relate this concept from the textbook in briophyllum buds are produced in the notches along with the leaf margin you can see the picture in the book along the leaf margin the buds are produced right these buds fall off to form a new plant in humans how the surgical contraceptive methods can be used to prevent pregnancy in males in males vas deferens is blocked 
if it is blocked sperm transfer will not takes place fertilization will not takes place in females in females fallopian tube is blocked if fallopian tube is blocked the egg will not reach the uterus the egg will not the uterus so fertilization will not takes place explain the development of fertilized egg into fetus in a woman the fertilized egg starts dividing and forms a ball of cells or embryo this embryo is implanted in the lining of the uterus where they continue to grow and develop organs to become a fetus as energy moves progressively to various tropic levels of food chain it is no longer available to the previous level why because the flow of energy is unidirectional in the food chain the energy that is captured by the autotrophs does not revert back to the solar input the energy which passes through the herbivores does not come back to the autotrophs the energy which passes through the herbivores does not come back to the autotrophs that's why it is called as unidirectional the energy available at each tropic level get diminished progressively due to the loss of energy at each level you can explain about 10% law also explain the significant function of each structure in human male reproductive system testis what is the function it produces sperm and also the male sex hormone testosterone scrotum they regulate the temperature for the production of sperms urethra and vas deferens transport sperm from testis which is the common passage for uh, sperm and uh, urine it is urethra one mark question prostate gland and seminal vesicle that the secretion to make the sperm transport easier and provide nutrition penis delivers the sperm to the site of fertilization explain the versatile nature of carbon it has two versatile nature catenation and tetravalence catenation is a unique ability of the carbon to form bond with other carbon atoms or other elements it can be single bond double bond or triple bond or branch chain or ring structure uh, because of this many number of uh, carbon compounds are formed there are two types that is saturated and unsaturated saturated or single bond unsaturated or double or triple bond. tetravalency because it has a valency of four it is capable of bonding four other atoms with carbon or other atoms compounds of carbon are formed with oxygen hydrogen nitrogen sulfur chlorine and many other element giving a large number of uh, compounds that's why these two are very unique to the element carbon that is catenation and tetravalency dear students uh, do practice all the diagram it will be for 12 marks diagram will be for 12 marks plus four hard question that means diagram based question will be for four marks not four questions four marks questions will be there for four marks hard questions will be there so total 12 plus 14 12 marks for diagrams 14 is diagram based question they'll be given the diagram uh, you should analyze the diagram and you should answer the given question dear students i am repeatedly telling you that it is very important for you to read the textbook very important for you to read the textbook without reading the textbook without the conceptual understanding it's very difficult what are the questions you can see here you can relate those concepts in the textbook dear students thank you for watching the video hopefully i'll be posting because i'll be so much occupied making video it takes lot of time Uh, many of the students have uh, uh, texted me telling that you are posting not posting much videos but uh, i'll try to post as many videos videos as possible i'm recording all these videos in in the night uh, when i'm free definitely i'll before exams at least before preparatory exam maximum will try to cover as many concepts as possible dear students thank you for watching the video do subscribe the channel and also do share with your friends which whoever is feeling difficulty they can uh, learn right thank you